Hey YouTube Sequence, it will be here, vlog time, different perspective and different recording method. I'm actually recording through my phone. I uh, tried to record through my eyesight camera on my Mac up there uh, twice, and both times it decided to record audio from my headset instead of the built-in microphone, and then the audio and video were out of sync because... Somewhere along the line, one of the updates, Apple did something, and now it's fucked up, as normal. So, yeah, uh, from now on, vlogs are going to be recorded through the front-facing camera of my iPhone instead. Since that's actually the only product that consistently works somewhat. Not really, actually. Pretend I didn't say that. So, anyway, um, yeah, Ami Ami Box arrived. All that stuff is piled up in my hall picture formation. It's like Voltron back here. Um, as for stuff that got here already, um, I still have two haul pictures I have to put up from Saturday and Monday. Um, but, uh, the first edition Prime Bulkhead arrived from Robot Kingdom yesterday. Fantastic, fantastic figure. Uh, probably my favorite Prime figure so far. Definitely, uh, worth tracking that down. I picked it up for 40 I think. It's like 20 shipping, so it was about 60, which is ridiculous for one Voyager class, but looking at the prices on eBay, that was pretty much 50% off the eBay prices, so, um, yeah, it was definitely a much appreciated uh, way of getting the figure. Um, earlier, before that, my HLJ box arrived with, uh, these guys, I hope you see them, the SICs, the... Pokeplot Pikachu kit arrived. Um, that will be in a review with the Victini kit together since they came out at the same time. Um, so that arrived, and then uh, SIC Dark Kevin Ixa arrived from Mandrake. Um, Deno Wing Form SIC should be getting here within a week or so. And my Oki box hasn't been paid for yet, but that should get here in about a week and a half, roughly. Depends on when I pay him. Um, that will have the March release of, no, February release of Makai Kado Goten Girl's Horse. Um, the March release of the Rouse card set. And then everything that's in April. Um, Gosei Knight, Birth Prototype, Takajaba, um, Rocket States, Figure at Zero Kotetsu, and Makai Kado emblem set a uh, couple other things I think that are in there as well um, the fourth Pokemon Zucom black and white set which is technically the sixth set I think but it's not the fourth set it's the first set for the new movie but anyway numbering aside um, I'm gonna try to track that down I don't know if it'll be in the box or not probably not but uh, it'll be in the next box uh, so anyway on to what I received um, I'll just slowly dismantle Voltron over here, and we'll take a look. So first up, uh, to continue my SIC fangasming, uh, Kiwami, uh, Wolf Orphanok, and Horse Orphanok. So those are here. They look really cool. I mean, yeah, they're kind of bland because that's how the Orphanoks are, but not really too much you can do. Um, Chibi Arts Dragon Kid from Tiger and Bunny. Uh, is that is here? Uh, I still haven't reviewed Blue Rose yet, but it's on the list of things to do. Uh, Figure Arts Zolda. Figure Arts Fire States. And Figure Arts Super Shinken Red. I just realized I think this picture is mirrored, and I apologize for that. Uh, hopefully it unmirrors itself when it encodes it. Um, what else do we got? We got Arms Micron Skywarp, because I didn't know whether we're going to get an American one or not. Um... Personally, I just kind of wanted to get an Arms Micron figure, and this was the only one that I could get that I didn't own already. Uh, first edition Starscream mold, so it's a good mold on top of that. Um, I was thinking about getting the Terracon Cliff Jumper, which is in a purple clear plastic. Uh, it looks really cool, and I do like the first edition Cliff Jumper mold quite a bit. Uh, however, Hasbro announced that they're doing the Terracon Cliff Jumper in their normal color scheme that what they were supposed to do in the first place. And cancelled. Anyway. Um, so that's being released as a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Which I am getting along with Fall of Cybertron Bruticus. 
and the figure arts, um, super, uh, yeah, figure arts Gohan that they are putting out just because I do like the color scheme on that one. Uh, but anyway, I am getting all that. Comic Con's going to be free and expensive, and I'm not even going. But, <laughs> um,. So I'm definitely getting that one. I don't know if I'm getting the Arms Micron Terracon Cliff Jumper yet. I might just on the basis that it looks cool. Uh, and it's not really all that expensive on Ami Ami. So if they still have it, I might pick it up. So that's here. Um, Pokeplot Kit, Verizian. Uh, Cobalion, Verizian, and Terrakian will all be in one review together. So uh, be on the lookout for that uh, when Terrakian gets here this month, at the end of this month. Uh, last but not least, we have Ranger Key Set O's and Ranger Key Set Bokenger. Um, I wasn't able to get the Ranger Key Set Hurricaner because I just missed the pre-orders and then I missed the small little restock that they had when they were putting up canceled orders and they haven't gotten another shipment of them in yet. So, um, yeah, I won't be able to uh, really get them until they do. I might get it from Mandrake if I see one and there's something else I need. I might do that. I don't really know what the plan is yet. I haven't seen one on Mandrake yet, actually. So, um, I'll be on the lookout for that. Some other things that were in the box are now buried underneath here. Um, picked up this for the girlfriend. Uh, Play Arts, uh, Halloween Town Sora. Uh, she loves Kingdom Hearts. She loves, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, so this is pretty much tailored for her. Ami Ami had it on sale, and she's like, oh, that's so pretty. I'm like, just get it. So, uh, there's that. No, I won't be doing a review on it, and she'll probably take some pictures or something. Like that. And the Caldeo uh, sleeves and deck box for Vince. Uh, not cool enough for me to actually get one for myself, but uh, still cool nonetheless. Um, I haven't been reviewing the Ranger Keys or the Legend of Mobile Arts yet, because I haven't had time. Uh, my problem is that I last week I had finals, plus I had about four papers I had to write, which was awful. But um, speaking of, thanks for everyone who did that survey in my last vlog. That helped a lot. Uh, project worked out really well. Went out without a hitch. Uh, so that went really, really well. Thanks to everyone who did that. And uh, so I just didn't have time to record every, anything, really. That's why Axle Booster went up instead of anything relevant. Um, G Deno is going to go up just because I've had those two done since 2011. And I just never put them up because I there was better things to put up at the time. And then it just got so old that I never felt like putting it up. But I don't really have anything else that went up. There was already a uh, two, 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 about four day, five day gap between videos. And I just wanted to put up something. So... Uh, G Nano will go up next, and then I'll start returning to more relevant things. My plan right now is to basically get uh, as much of the April exclusives out as I can while doing the April retail stuff, and then start doing some of the older ones that I have listed, like uh, Ryuki Blank Form, uh, Burra Kawani Combo, uh, Eternal Red Flare, things like that. Um, yeah, so... Hmm. That's really about all. So thanks to everyone who helped me with that. Um, one thing though, if uh, you want to see a particular item from this batch of stuff first, let me know in the comments. Um, obviously, I won't be able to cater to everyone, but if there's a certain figure in there that's just an overwhelming majority that people want to see, I'll bump it up the review schedule a little bit. Um, so yeah, currently there's a tentative list on shukashobi.com, so take a look at that. If there's anything on the list you want to see first, let me know and I'll uh, go ahead and see what I can do and try to get something situated. Uh, it really boils down to my time because I just don't really have that much free time anymore between the podcast and the site and what reviews I have and then school, no break between fall and summer, so I'm screwed there and then just trying to relax the best I can. Uh, I just don't have that much free time, so, I mean, sometimes I'll be able to sit down and record something long, like The Legend of Mobirates, which I haven't reviewed yet, um, or sometimes I just don't have that much time and all I can manage is a Pokeplot kit or two, so, um, yeah, uh, I think that's all. 
So, uh, thanks again for all the support. Let me know what you guys want to see. And that is all. So, uh, check out chickenshinobi.com for the review schedule. Uh, let me know. And, of course, ridersrangersrumbles.com, rrotoku.com for all the latest news. Um, new URL is rrhub.com. That's just a reroute right now, but uh, you can start remembering that. So, uh, take care and have a great one. Bye.